if error function in Excel, how can we use it with three different practical examples? So let's start here with the first one, where I have here a couple of items in my in this yellow list. In the first column I have the items, and then in the following column here I have the value of the item. Whenever I just type it in here the item name, I want to get back as result the match value, for example. And here I am using just a simple VLOOKUP function in Excel. But whenever I just type it in here an item that I do not have in my list, for example, item one two three. I got here a error as result. But instead of got this error, for example, I uh, want you to customize it. So why not just change this error for like, for example, the item is not in the list, for example. And of course, if I just type it in here, an item that I, I actually have in my list, so item 005, for example, enter, I got here the correct result that in the value that's just met with the item itself. Uh, but let's just came back here for a roof. So for example, item ABC123, okay? I, I do not have this item in my list. Uh, instead of get this arrow here, I can use the if arrow function in Excel to help me out. Uh, the if arrow function in Excel is equal sign if Arrow. So here we have, I can double click it to use the if arrow function. And whenever, let's say, I got a arrow like NA, for example, I can instead of using the standard arrow, I can change it to one other type of text or using some specific words or whatever. So, so let me just double click here in the VLOOKUP function that I just did before. And just after here, this equal sign, I'm going to type it in here, the if arrow function. I'm going to double click it, one, two, to select, and then as my value, the first criteria, the first condition that the if error function asking me, I'm gonna use the VLOOKUP function itself, okay? So the value here is gonna be all my VLOOKUP function. And then here, just uh, in this last parenthesis, I can just type it in here, comma. And then if I got a error in the result, I can just, let's say, type it in item not found, for example. But here's a very important thing. You need to just type it in the sentence, the word or whatever in between quotations mark because that way Excel is going to understand this is a text. Okay, so I'm going to open quotations mark here and then I'm going to close quotations marks. Now I can close parentheses too and then I'm going to press enter. And whenever I got a arrow as result, obviously instead of just got the error itself, I'm going to have this custom return as the result item not found. But if I have actually the item in my list, so item 009, for example, enter, I'm going to have, of course, the correct value. So this is why we can use the if error function here in Excel. Let me just move on to the example number two. So basically, we can use the if error function with another functions, or we can take this another functions and append to the if error function using within the if error function. Here in the second example, I have a, a list of students. So I have here a bunch of students. I have the grade of all the students, the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and so on. And I have, of course, here a bonuses point and, of course, the final grade. But here I have a problem. Uh, I did not finish yet to just fill it in here all the grades for all the students that I have. So, of course, I'm going to have here a railroad. Okay, I know that. But let's say someone else just came here and want to see the spreadsheet, want to see the grades and so on, and they just see this arrow here. Maybe it's not that good to show the arrow. So maybe it's a good idea to instead of have a arrow in your spreadsheet and you can customize the arrow. So that way anyone that just came and see your spreadsheet is gonna know that something is missing. But as we you just customize the arrow, it's okay. So instead of just using this divide arrow, you know, because here, as I'm using an average function to just calculate here to do the math of the final grade for each one of the students that I have here. Of course, I have here a lot of blank cells. So that way, of course, I'm going to have here this here right here because I cannot take the average of nothing. I cannot divide anything for nothing, for zero, for example. So this is why I got here this arrow, divide by zero or divide by nothing. Huh? So instead of using this here right here, I can customize it. And then I can double click here in this function. And just after the equal sign, I can type it in if arrow function. Oops, okay, here, double click it, one, two, to select. And one important thing, thing here, as my average function, I will have here, let me just double click it again, uh, I open parentheses in the beginning. When I just type it in the if error function, I'm gonna need to type it in again, another parentheses, because I'm gonna need to put it in all this average function that I have within my if error function, okay? So let me show you here, double click it. As you guys are seeing here, I have, I will have a parentheses open. So if error, double click it. When I double click it, I still have just one open parentheses here. So to use the if error function, I need to type it in 
in here another parenthesis and as you guys can see the if error function are not already show for me here the first criteria value so this is why i know that i need to type it in here parenthesis to just let's say activate the if error function so let me just click here and then i'm gonna open parenthesis okay now here just in the last space i'm gonna just use comma and now if i got an error i'm gonna use here just a dash so open quotations mark dash close quotations marks and then I can close parentheses and then press enter. Now I can just click here in the down right corner of the cell and drag down or double click it. One, two, to make sure all the rows contain the same function. And as you guys already saw here, my problem was solved. So instead of got a rero, I just got here a dash. In my personal opinion, it's much better using a dash as a custom rero instead of having that divide error in your spreadsheet, okay? Now let's move on to the example number three where I have something bigger here. I have uh, the product list, the quantity of each one of the products, basically, this is a stock spreadsheet, okay? Uh, let's say an inventory spreadsheet. So I have the product, the quantity, uh, the cost, unity in total, price, unity in total, and then the profit. As I'm using here a uh, division to the math of the profit, so I'm using here the total price minus the total cost, and this two here divide by the total price, for example. Okay, no problem here in the math of the profit. Well, uh, let's say here I have a lot of blank spots in the quantity column because I not already just filled in here all the values, and because I just not filled in yet the quantity for all the items. I'm not having yet the total cost and the total price for all the items. And that way here, my profit is, let's say, doing a, a division math. And that way it's going to get here a divide error because I'm basically divided here something for zero or for nothing, you know. So that way Excel is going to return here for me a error. And as you, we just saw before in the example one and the in the example two, we can solve this problem here and use a custom error. That is the if error function. So if we got a error, I can, use, I can do something else, you know. So let me just double click here and in the same way that i just did the previous example i can use here the if error function let me double click here i'm gonna open parentheses and okay now the value is gonna be this formula right here and if this formula right here return a error as result comma i'm gonna let's say type it in here open quotations mark uh let's say uh check out the quantity uh, close quotations my close parentheses and then press enter now let me just click hold and drag down here in the down right corner of the cell to the end of my spreadsheet and we're done so instead of getting the, the boring error in excel now we got a customized one so it's much better in my opinion let me know what you think about that and if you have any questions and suggestions to the next next videos let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow as everybody has a new video i see you there